Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tribes. 60 seconds re-atomized. This is another one. Steam Labs has come through in the clutch. Recommended to me, released on Steam this summer. 100% positive reviews with 20, well sorry, 2050 reviews. We're living in 2020, it's got more than one review per year. It's gotta be killer. I've never played it, but I have seen it played. As I understand it, oh, interesting. As I understand it, it's kind of a, like, colony simulator game, like Fallout Shelter, but humorous. Let's see. Select the type of atomic adventure. The tutorial. That seems like a great way to start. Learn about all, learn all about how to scavenge in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Okay. Gas mask. Bad smell, toxic fog. Just put on a gas mask and keep enjoying life. Oh, welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention and you just might make it. Hold the grab control to skip my words, but every time you do, an extra nuke will drop. Move to the yellow X. Done. Problem solved. Please stop with the tuba. Also... Gonna take that down to about there. Now let's keep those legs moving. All right. Working on it. Move to the next yellow X in the living room. I'm ready. Not bad, but you better be in good shape. There's more where that came from. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son, Timmy, ASAP. And don't break your TV in the process. That is not Timmy. That is my wife. Or as Borat likes to say, uh, my wife, Timmy. Timmy, you in here? Hello. Good thing you know the layout of your house. What you got there? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Citizen today, Astro Citizen tomorrow. Grab Timmy. He will be the first to visit your shelter. Oh my god. Find the highlighted soup can and grab it. The highlighted soup can. I see many soup cans. Can you stop with the freaking tuba? It's a nuclear drill. What you're looking for is the highlighted soup can. Ah, oh, it's right, of course. Top of the washing machine. Please stop breaking stuff. This can sustain a family of four for a day. Must be chunky. Hunt for some water bottles. Okay. That's my personal take on that one. Definitely in the bathroom is where I keep all my potable water. That's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, Buster. You can only carry so much and every item weighs at least one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more. I'm ready. Please drop Timmy off. Send him. <laughs> All right, you got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. No one knows how long you'll be down there, so you'll need a radio. Okay. Done. Toss that down there as well. That's it. Nothing's more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. Collect five items and drop them off to the shelter in time. Our incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge what you need. Okay, get ready. There is a clock up in the top right corner. You're just going to have to trust me for now. Collect at least five more items in the next 60 seconds. Make sure you find yourself close to the shelter when time is up. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here we go. The siren's gone off. Get your daughter down there. We're saving the whole family, okay? Excuse me, honey. Gonna need you to get down here as well. We got 60 seconds. We still got a lot of time here. What comes next? Give me some food. Canned food. Water. Um, you know what? For now, give me a little checkerboard as well. We still got more than half the time. Toss that down there. What else you got? Throw a suitcase down there. I don't know. Maybe there's like a change of clothes. I don't know, man. Maybe a gun. I know we got more inventory space, but... 
Can't help but feel like food and, and potable water are the, are the big money makers for us right now. Still got about 15 seconds. Toss them in. I can get one more thing. I'm a professional gamer. I'm playing in Twitch Rivals later today. More soup, dude. More soup. Get to the freaking shelter. You got like four seconds. Let's go. He's done it. I'm going to move myself, by the way. I'm going to move the camera, I should say. Now you know how to get what you need to survive, but your training is far from over. I'll see you downstairs for survival training. At ease. <laughs> Look at that. Told you I would be a great patriarch of a nuclear family in the Cold War era. I got two hands that can hold two things each. And a sense of duty. Day one. Look at all the stuff we got, dude. Day one, you made it to the shelter, congratulations, but the drill's not over. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you, nothing else. You'll need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants where your, when your survival journal is not opened yet or hidden. First things first, you must ration food and water. If you don't whine and dine yourself and the folks you brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture of a can or bottle under their portrait. Or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny people your rations, the weaker they get and they might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take quite a few cans <laughs> and a lot of time to replenish the strength. Okay, time to ration supplies. We only have four water bottles on day one. No, on day one, everybody gets soup, okay? Water only goes to the kids. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow nighty night. All right, thank God I brought the, the chessboard down. How we doing? Day two, good morning, hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No, well, better get used to it since you'll be staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing since we need to do it every day, but after that, we'll move on to something else. Got your attention? Good, now listen, there's a risk you'll run out of supplies of event eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. so sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though, tired survivors can never be part of an expedition. Today we will skip preparations and jump, dire jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to a, sh a crappy place. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble dared to cross her path. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would be written. No news is good news, there's nothing new going on with Timmy. Alright. Oh, we've got some... I guess the kids don't drink as much water. All right, today... Sorry, kids. Everybody gets a can of soup. Um, but only dad and mom get some water, okay? Sending people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, and you can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Send healthy and well-fed well -fed people. Um, okay. I... I'm just gonna send dad. That's that's dad's responsibility, okay? Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while, but in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other prob problems that'll test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of, but first ration your food and water, okay? Okay, everything everything's doing uh, everyone's doing great so far today. Um, everybody gets a can of soup for now. Kids get water bottles. I'm an army man, so I don't know a thing about imagination. But you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario. You come across your kid's hamster who in some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? No. 
This, we need the moral support. I will not. If anything, I'll feed myself to my pet to keep them alive. They're, they're such pure and innocent beings. Good choice. The little furry guy can stay and fatten up. It'll make a bigger meal in a few days and maybe your only source of food if you run out of cans. It's always better when things are calm. Nothing new happened. Timmy's being very brave. Time to ration supplies. Today, mom gets a water bottle. Everybody gets a soup can, okay? You might be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, you might find you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play shadow bunnies using your flashlight? Uh, listen to the radio. They, it was part of the tutorial. It must be worth something. Oh, he's back! A little bloodied, or is that just tomato soup? <laughs> the radio is critical to establishing communications with the U.S. Army as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch some music, too. Good news! The expedition is back! Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. Ted was hurt, Ted is hungry, and everybody else is doing okay. Alright, so, he does get a first aid kit. Today, water goes to Ted and the kids, everybody gets a soup can. You need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to somebody else. A decent padlock might protect it. But not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. Hey! We're doing great. According to them, at least. <laughs> six days? I could make it six days. A month? Well, that, that's when we'll start to talk. We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time you were asked to pick one unlucky person. Today, you will get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter, en shelter entrance. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted's injuries are all fixed. Mary Jane isn't worried. Dolores is in a good mood. Timmy's being very brave. This is great news. Kind of getting a little low on water, but here's the thing. Who got it yesterday? Ted and the kids. Today, that's Mary Jane's. Uh, everybody gets a soup can. Getting a little low. I'll admit, getting a little low. Anything could be useful outside, and some items even improve scavengers' chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Who should go outside today? Dolores? Oh, I got Dolores and Mary Jane confused. She can take... Give her... The suitcase and a gun. <laughs> she better come back with venison. She's kitted. People not looking so hot here. Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the U.S. military and a way to rescue. All right. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Everybody else is okay. Time to ration supplies. Everybody gets a little water? No, not today. Everybody gets a little soup, nobody gets any water. No, 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 the rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse. Communists. Just imagine what would happen if the Reds discover you. So let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open this door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Day 8. She's back and looking pretty fresh, honestly. You'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about those commie, uh-huh, who don't get comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. She came back with a, an extra suitcase? 
We found the Ten Cent Hotel in ruins, but there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies were scattered. Now we know the secret of the restaurant chef. It's tomato soup, plus one can. We got one water bottle, really? We got a flashlight, we got an axe. So much for our rifle, it got damaged during our expedition, minus one rifle. Honestly, this feels like a fair trade. Okay, Dolores wants food. Everybody else wants water. Dolores, you get food. Everybody gets water. And Ted's stomach was rumbling as well. There you go. I mean, you only came back with one can of soup. As long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you in the butt, even after a few days or weeks. Alright. Is that the end of the tutorial? I'm, I think I'm ready. I think I'm equipped. Maybe not. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now, but be careful. You never know what's coming. Dolores is hungry. Okay, guess what, Dolores? There you go. Sorry to say I can't give everybody water today. This is a kid's water day. Someone's at the door. You hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out sequences of three knocks. Do you open the door? No. They said two knocks. They said only open if there's two knocks. Good call. That wasn't the knock you're waiting for. Dolores has not eaten. Ted's cool. Mary Jane's cool. Timmy's good. Dolores needs food. Okay. My mistake. Dolores needs food. Nobody's drinking any water today. You were counting imaginary sheep in your head. Another series of knocks broke your concentration. Two knocks! Two knocks! Do you open the door? Yes. Have we done it? The end! That, in a good way, I hope. Mission accomplished? Good job! You're safe and sound. We held out for 11 days. Alright. So with, now that we've completed the tutorial, let's do a run for real. You survived! End adventure. We're gonna we're gonna do a real one now that I understand it. I like a game like this, like an interactive storytelling game. the The first uh, 3D part of it is a little jank, but I think that's part of the charm. New game. Um. Scavenge. No survival included. Survival. No scavenge included. I guess. Apocalypse. The full atomic experience. Yes, I'm ready. Select character, will be Ted. Select difficulty, give me normal difficulty, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot here. I know I've seen this game on YouTube before. It seems like it's very replayable. I've seen people play it, uh, you know, like multiple times. Hold on, you can't, you can't see the clock here. Suffice it to say, we have like a minute. Starting now, I think. Okay, Timmy, hello? Timmy and uh, a board game. Welcome. Where the heck is the hatch? Send them. Okay. Your family is very important in this situation. Mary Jane, welcome. We could also take a bottle of water with us on this one. We only got 30 seconds left. This one's a little spicy. I have to be honest, I do not know where Dolores is, okay? I don't have any recollection. Oh, I, I think I saw her for a second. Grab that radio. We don't have a briefcase or anything this time, but just send uh, Stop breaking stuff. Grab her. Get the briefcase, dude. Oh my god, we have s no room. There's no room. Sprint. We have no food. <laughs> That seems bad for business. <laughs> Alright, but we made it in. We got something at least. It's like being on Supermarket Sweep. Okay. Okay. I I don't... I felt like the tutorial gave us a much better chance on that one. But at least we got all our family members. People are a resource. How we doing? Let's open up the journal. All of us made it. Okay. Canned soup is healthy. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. The gas mask. Hey, you ever think about putting your canned soup down here? Our shelves are full of cans. Alright. 
There's just barely enough water for everyone. We have to ration it strictly. Agreed. Day one, kids get water. Kids get soup. Actually, you know what? Let's alternate. Because I think we want them to not be hungry because we'll probably send out the dad on an expedition tomorrow. There's only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. Day one, in the books. The first day your power goes out, it's kind of like an adventure. People don't start to go stir-crazy for a little while. We played Truth or Dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough. Ted is fine. Mary Jane's fine. Dolores is doing quite well. Timmy's doing great. Okay, today, adults get water. Kids get soup. Okay, Ted seems to be in good... Oh, going to the wasteland right now is unsafe. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Let's, let's say no for now. We can ride it out a little longer. You maniacs, you blew it up! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they did waste a perfectly good barbecue. Got him. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. Nothing going on with Ted. Mary Jane's fine. Dolores and Timmy are fine. Food for the adults. Water for the kids. Our neighbor's neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Not today. What's that trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers. A boat wouldn't even fit in here. We need to do something. Save the supplies. Save the radio. <laughs> For God's sakes. Man, the Geiger counter sounds pretty bad. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. However, we did lose our cards. Nothing going on with Ted. Mary Jane's fine. Dolores is fine. Timmy's good. Today, adults drink. Kids eat. Tomorrow, adults eat. Area is still irradiated. Not going out yet. We're waiting one more day. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of those wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? I'm gonna say yes. I, I assume it's a bad thing, but still. You know, you, you gotta... An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. We looked into the hole fearing something might come at us, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Plus one soup can. Ted is fine. Mary Jane's fine. Dolores is fine. Timmy's fine. Adults eat. Kids drink. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. I'm riding it out as long as possible. We're a regular family, so we still have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's hope this won't last too long. All right, nerves are getting a little frayed. It's to be expected in a survival situation when you, you got nobody else to speak to, you know? We're done fighting, but for how long? Everybody seems like they're doing okay. Adults drink kids eat. We only got one bo water bottle left. The contamination is still strong. Scavenging could result in radiation sickness. That's okay. It's gotta be done. Ted, we are gonna start preparing an expedition for tomorrow. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them in? Oh, absolutely not. Under no circumstances. You gotta get a stealthier approach on that one. We didn't answer the door. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, uh, blah, blah. Ted's not complaining. Mary Jane's not worried. Uh, Dolores not worried. Timmy's fine. He does want cake, though. Time to ration supplies. 
I forgot what I gave you yesterday, so guess what? Um, kids drink. Adults eat. Okay. Who goes? Father goes. He brings a gas mask. He brings a gas mask only. Good luck, Dad. Might take a couple days. Today, he left for the surface. Mary Jane's safe. Dolores is okay. Timmy's okay. Everybody eat today. Nobody drink. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the bomb drop. Yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? I gotta know, dude. I gotta know. Let's send Timmy. Send, send your 11-year-old son out there to figure out what's going on. He's back! When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when it was cut short. Dolores will not last long without water. Okay, Dolores... Have some H2O, but we're getting pretty tight here. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is as far from roses as it can get. We thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way, but maybe we can make do with something else. We have no, uh, we have no other supplies. We made it to 10 days. Not that impressive, but oh lord. People are not looking so good. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Dolores came down with a sickness. Timmy's been talking about nothing other than water, and they're not feeling too well. <laughs> well, uh, Timmy, you went out. Hold on, you're sick and thirsty? Sick and thirsty? Timmy gets the water because he went out to test the phone. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. Hold on. Turn on that portable radio. This is really a do or die sort of situation. This this feels like we're about to probably lose some people. Where is father? We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days. Mary Jane is sick. Dolores' health is not improved. Timmy is no longer thirsty. We have no supplies to ration. A group of doctors knocked on our door today requesting some supplies that would be helpful. Yeah, okay. Um, we have nothing to give you. And we need the help, okay? Father? Father's returned? Nope. This seems horrible. We don't think they were real doctors. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Water is all Dolores wants. Yeah, okay, everybody's sick. Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Wanna buy a rock? We calmed down and realized that it belonged to Old Man Jim who used to live in our town. We should probably answer his question. It's impolite to keep people waiting like that. I do not wish to purchase a rock. I have no goods for barter, Old Man Jim. I, I suppose maybe we could kill and eat him. Oh, father, but where's... Where's Mary Jane? Ted has safely returned. Who are you going to call when the world is on fire? The fire department. We were thrilled to find the place still running. Firefighters redecorated the place and redid their outfits. Most of the walls, uh, yada, yada, yada. We got an axe. We got a padlock. We got... Soap. Bug spray, bug spray. We lost our gas mask, though. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Timmy prefers apple juice, but he needs some water. Ted is really tired and has nothing to eat. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting any water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and that she's getting her water one way or another. Mary Jane is left. All right, Ted, great job. Um, We will prepare an expedition for tomorrow. We know very little about what's going on outside. Please turn on the radio. All right, so Timmy, Timothy, Timmy and Dolores, they got to go out there. Please raid a grocery store and get us some food. 
we were able to get a weak signal. The fallout is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel to the surface now. Ted is very weak. Dolores is sick. Timmy is in terrible shape. He needs water now. Fortunately, that's not possible. Enjoy your time outside. You can take your axe. <laughs> Finally, Dad gets some alone time. I wouldn't say we've lived for 15. Oh, no! <laughs> she's, she's a corpse. Timmy went out into the wasteland. Ted looks very weak. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Time to ration supplies. Oh, oh. Offers one water bottle in exchange for one bug spray. Absolutely. You can't drink bug spray, okay? Day 16. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Yeah, no kidding. On the bright side, free water bottle. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombing. Man, the days are just whipping by. Day 17. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. He needs to eat, but that cannot be done. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Look, the obvious answer is no, but if you're starving to death and you're probably going to die tomorrow if you don't eat, why not try to eat the nuclear mushrooms? You got to try to do something to stay alive. We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. Ted got sick. <laughs> today we found a letter that claims to be from other survivors. They're asking you to choose one person to represent us and come to a meeting tonight. Ted, desperate times call for desperate measures, okay? We got nobody left in the shelter. Oh! Um... It's true! There really are other survivors. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time. There were some friendly survivors. They promised to stay in touch. Uh, Timmy should have returned by now. He might not be coming back. Ted has rested. All right, Ted. Keep drinking, brother. Um, you really should prepare an expedition. We can't... No, no point in even reading that. We're not getting anywhere. The end. Ted died of starvation, I think. Um... An attempt was made, okay? Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever's behind that door will have to stay there. That was the thing we didn't read. There are only so many days a man can survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. We held out for 20 days. No, this is really fun. <laughs> I would totally play more of this in like a mini-series context. Or, um... You know, on stream, without a doubt. This is really cool. 60 seconds re-atomized. Uh, it's available on Steam. I purchased it myself. It was uh, $10 American, which seems like a smoking deal. This is a really cool game. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There will be a link to pick it up on Steam if you're interested. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!